Emily the Criminal is a brand new thriller film just out, a pretty wide release, I'd say, last weekend after being a Sundance 2022 premiere, written and directed by John Patton Ford in his directorial debut, and notably starring Aubrey Plaza. And Aubrey Plaza, I think everyone knows at this point, is a very appealing actor. She's very famous online as a bit of a stand community. But I think for good reason. She started to make, I think, very interesting choices in her career to this point, post Parks and Rec. You know, I think of uh, kind of a scene stealing performance in like Happy Season on Hulu, for example. Like, Aubrey Plaza, I think, just has energy to her. But Emily the Criminal is, I think, really fascinating to see Aubrey Plaza in because this is just kind of a straight, like, crime thriller movie with some social commentary. And Aubrey Plaza, it's a star vehicle for her. She is the the star of the film. She's in like every scene. And what's interesting about it is it's not a movie where we see the deadpan humor sensibilities that we all associate with Aubrey Plaza, of which she is so famous for because she is so good at. There's not a lot of comedy from her there. But we do have is Aubrey Plaza's presence and energy, which I think just kind of speaks to the general talent of her as an actor. And you know, I think it, I, th- I think it's, it's very well done, just as a compelling thriller film. But what makes it so interesting is I think those like more broader societal comments that are at least on the periphery of the movie. Very simply, it's about a woman who's kind of down on her luck, living in Los Angeles, working as a caterer at a re- for, at a for a restaurant, and she's struggling to move up in the job market because she has an existing uh, felony on her record uh, assault uh, conviction we learned was from a domestic dispute in the in her past. And she's kind of feeling that desperation. And the movie is really kind of like laying on the struggle of being working class and trying to not be that anymore. Right. And uh, it, I think it's juxtaposed very well with her college friend who works at this like hip ad agency is always trying to like hook her up and get her out the mud, but never can seem to deliver. And like, it's, kind of a have and have nots two worlds kind of portrayal there and as you can imagine emily the criminal as the title suggests emily starts to uh, take an opportunity when it's presented to her to move forward in her life and that would be participating as a dummy shopper for credit card fraudsters where she uses stolen credit card numbers on new manufactured credit cards to buy stuff at like a best buy and then they, they would sell that stolen merchandise and she would get paid a cut out of that. And things start to escalate and increase as Emily is turns out to be very good at, at, at the gig. And um, she starts to have more ambition in her uh, uh, fraud, as you could, as one would say. So, it, you know, maybe it's not the most surprising plot per se, but I, I found it pretty compelling. You know, I think the, the other ma- the other famous actor in the film, the other uh major character would be Theo Rossi, who's in a lot of stuff. People probably know him from Sons of Anarchy. Yeah. Um, he's kind of the one who's like running the the fraud ring at times. And then her and uh, him and Emily start to get a, con- a more connected and a little romantic. And, you know, th- things escalate as you might expect. But, you know, I think it's a bit above just your standard thriller film, your standard crime film, because of, I think, the way it introduces... Uh, you know, issues in the world. And of course, Aubrey Plaza just has a presence to her. It's just great to to be with her, especially with this kind of character who is getting increasingly uh, desperate in her life. So I would definitely recommend Emily the Criminal. Uh, if you can see in the theaters or wait for rental, whatever it is, definitely check it out because it's obviously not the most famous movie coming out this year, but I think certainly, certainly worth uh, your time. Uh, I love Aubrey Plaza. Uh, she has a unique persona which uh it really appeals to me and uh, i'm glad to see her getting bigger looks theo rossi also is someone that from sons of anarchy i really like so also nice to see them both getting a bigger look together and uh definitely one i want to check out 